Hello YouTube, Librarian Larry here, and today the TTR community has figured out the final part of the ongoing ARG, reaffirming that field offices will be coming very, very soon. So to start off earlier today, Dr. Surly posted a blog post sharing some blueprints that the tunes recovered. The first was a schematic showing the field offices from the original timeline, where they didn't pose much of a threat to the tunes. The second shows the exterior of the new field offices coming to TTR. The third was a series of numbers and letters alongside a picture of a Toon HQ. The random strings of text on the second picture can actually be decoded into the following message. Cellbot Field Office, Revised Schematics. The boiler room operates at the top of each annex. Gags drain by ruining stolen jokes in the stomper room. Cold callers receive ice cubicles to store cold hard cash. Takes over classified target, see backside. Live feed in the surveillance room to detect undercover missions and unproductive workers. Multiple annexes per building for maximum productivity. Mover and shakers receive upgrade for ambush marketing success, mega movers. Marketing assessment, tunes are completely unprepared. This is going over the general format of how field offices will work, including things like the mega movers and the brand new ice skating mini game with the cold callers. The classified target mentioned was the Toon HQ shown on the back of the blueprints. There is another secret message on this blueprint, which reads, To access nearby target status. 1. Use street schematics to pinpoint location. 2. Fly to the coordinate near the target. 3. Tune internal antenna according to operating handbook. In the event this feature is unavailable, send in a bug report. From here, if you took the random numbers we had and overlay them with the map of Toontown, you'll notice that they line up. And I just want to give a huge thank you to Jackie in the TTR Discord server for creating this map. You have to take the numbers which are outside of the map to form coordinates, 295 and negative 78. Then you need to go to that spot in-game and say the speed chat phrase about sending in a bug report under sorry. This will give you a message from the COG saying that the feature is not available yet and will give you a phone number. 1 830 Cogs Inc. to call. In true ARG fashion, you now need to exit Toontown, as the rest of the puzzle is outside of the game. If you call the number, you will be greeted with some elevator music and a cog speaking to you. Then if you press numbers on your keypad, you will get different songs and some screeching noises. And I wanted to give everyone a quick volume warning because a part of this clip will get a little loud. Numbers 1 through 9 all provided different sounds, and when these sounds were converted into a spectrograph, they revealed secret images of the inside of the new field offices that I am showing on screen now. Once all 9 images were found, a message was sent out to Toons in-game with the link to the third and final part of the ongoing comic series we have been reading these past few days. This comic is much more serious than the other two, as it follows Resistance Ranger Ripley, who was recently promoted to the head of the Cellbot Task Force, talking to Flippy about unsure of herself she is, and how she fears what the Cogs are up to. Flippy reassures her, saying that many great leaders often doubt themselves, and that when the Cogs initially invaded all the way back during the Doomsday event, he threw that cream pie that started the war between Cogs and Toons because he was scared, and did what he knew how to do. We then see a montage of Toons working together to prepare the supplies needed to take on field offices, as Dr. Surly looks back fondly of his memories of the Fizzentons. The comic ends with Flippy and Ripley going into the manhole in the Cellbot HQ, and entering the Toon Resistance headquarters to prepare for what happens next. So that is the end of the current ARG, and by far my favorite that we've had so far. It was very intricate and involved many steps in-game and even calling a phone number to figure out some steps, which is really 
well above and beyond what I expected. And, of course, as this comic says, field offices should be expected very, very soon. We don't have a release date yet, but considering the way this comic ended, I'm assuming that one will be announced soon. So, be sure to subscribe for some more Toontastic videos coming soon, and as soon as we get any more information on field offices, you know that I will definitely be making a video covering it. So, that's all I have to say for now. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.